sharks and here we are we're at our room for the rest of the week number 1503 so we're gonna go ahead and see if we actually got kenji surpassed yet let's go is the ace of vegas the ace of vegas all right spinners and sharks and up we go to our room Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. I have to admit, I was a little nervous starting this video because I didn't expect Bellagio to give me much of an upgrade, mainly because the inspiration for this series, Kenji Yagi, didn't have a good time getting an upgrade when he came with his spouse a few years ago. But I figured I'd give it a go myself, turn on the old Mr. of Vegas charm, and see what we got. Originally, we ended up booking a resort king room with our My Vegas comps, and I sincerely doubted that they had anything else due to me being there the month the Bellagio was being remodeled. But to my surprise, the agent was actually very nice, and without asking me, she sent me straight to a resort tower junior suite. Which wasn't a proper suite with a separate bedroom, it was a bigger corner room, if I'm being honest. Let's pop in though and see if the upgrade was worth it. Alright, and here... We are. So I had a brief chance to take a look around and put a few things down, but I thought it'd be good to give you guys a fresh look at the room. So entering from the right hand side here, we're going to have our bathroom with the light up mirror. And this is a big light up mirror. Ladies and gentlemen, you can have the whole squad in this mirror over here. Everyone can primp and preen and do all the good stuff. And y'all all going to look good heading out to the strip. Now having a look at the actual counter itself, we are looking at the, whatever those are made of, countertops there. We also do have a close-up mirror for when you're trying to get that close shave, or you're trying to get your eyes shot all right, or whatever else it is y'all do, you can do that. Unfortunately, the light on the side isn't functioning right now. Not sure why that is. I did check the plugs on it. It is plugged in, so that's, uh, that's a point against it. But, you know, the mirror is there, so you can uh, check your close shaves and all that, and See how that goes. Shampoos and lotion, as well as a couple outlets here for the hair dryer, which is gonna be in one of these drawers. So the top two drawers here, those will include washcloths. So you have your washcloth stored separately from your regular towels, which I think is appropriate. Another little storage drawer over here for your toiletries, so you can take your travel kit and just put it down in here, close her up, something clean. And then if you need them, if you have long hair like I do, Mostly for the ladies, but now some fellas too. Boom. Got the Con Air E11 Stormtrooper Blaster. Needless to say, we also have the uh, roommate to the couples, or the spousal sinks and all that, the his and hers, or the hers and hers, or the his and whose, or whatever you want to do. And a little bit more storage space on the very bottom over here. Right next to the waste receptacle. And of course, in the little corner over there next to the other outlet, you've got a little bit more tissue, so that's nice. Come back over here to the tub. It's a separate tub. You've obviously got your towels up that way. And then you've got your separate Whirlpool tub over here, which is some pretty good stuff. Working your way up the wall over here. And then we've got a great view of Caesars from here. You can even kind of see Mirage through the window over there. So that's about where we're at. Fill water to above the jets and then touch the on off button on the tub to fire it up. On off button seems to be right over here. So you'll turn that on once you've got the water running. And it seems like it's a plenty deep tub. Should be about that deep. Also, a nice little feature over here is the water closet. So we're gonna be walking into the water closet over here. Light goes off, light goes on. A little dim, but then we turn around. Toilet's pretty standard. Comes with two rolls of TP, in case you guys are still having shortages wherever you live. Waste basket here. And then you also have the telephone for emergencies, say you fall in the bathroom, you can't get back up, something like that. It's an emergency situation, it happens to people, so if we're taking that seriously, that's what that's for. It adds a little bit of privacy, especially if you're sharing the room with somebody. And coming back around, 
We're also gonna see, you got your towel over here, you've got your shower mat on the ground here, and then you've got the standing steam shower, and that's got like a really small gap here. That's a really small gap up there, so you can uh, keep it nice and steamy in there. Looks like it's uh, got plenty of space for one person or two people, if you know what I mean, if you're very friendly with one another. This might be a good way for y'all to save some water. And then stepping in, the best part about it is, if y'all happen to be six feet tall or even a little over, this is an appropriate uh, shower size for you here. So, looks like it's about, eh, good for someone that's six foot six, six foot seven maybe. I think that'd be reasonable. You can get your hair wet and all that, kind of pointed up. Gives you a little bit of space, so not too bad. And that is the bathroom in its entirety. So let's go ahead and head back outside and we'll check out the rest of the room. All right, we're coming straight out looking at a basic bathroom selfie. Not that basic, I don't know, but you got a full body winner over here. You wanna go ahead and make sure you're fresh, make sure you're clean before you hit the strip per usual. We turn around and we get to enjoy the room as a whole. A little bit of artwork on the wall over here, but let's focus on the main room. So. You have a counter over this way so that you can actually work on a few things. We've got the flat panel, Samsung TV, place for your laptop and a couple plugs up there. There are two plugs up there. You're also gonna have your ice bucket, your wine glasses, and your cocktail glasses in case you go somewhere like 7-Eleven or Walgreens, CVS or something like that and you want a little something to drink. We also have some storage down this way. First thing is going to be the mini bar. So per usual, you're going to open it up. It's going to have a lot of nonsense in it. So you're going to have your Grey Goose in there, your Absolute, your Jim Bean, your Jack Daniels, and it's all going to be like a thousand dollars a shot. And then you're also going to have your mixers. Again, these are going to be kind of expensive though. So if you know that you're not getting many comps or anything like that, I'd say stay out of the mini bar. Also, they seem to be missing a glass of wine from me or a bottle of wine from me here. So I should consider that. Plenty of storage space. That is deep. That is long and deep. So we're good. And then we also have two more drawers on the bottom over here. Plenty of space for your clothes. So if you have a longer trip and you want to get real comfortable, you can do that. Right next door, we're going to have another full body mirror. But this opens up into the armoire. So this is going to be your full dresser. It's going to include things like your ironing board, your luggage rack, and also a few hangers so you can hang up your wardrobe. So as you guys can see, I've got all my standard Ace of Vegas costume changes in here. We've got a couple of Bellagio robes, a la PJ from PJ's Cocktails. And then a couple laundry bags too, if you wanna do some laundry here, or more accurately ask Bellagio to do laundry for you. Also, you're gonna notice this ironing board here. So if you know how to iron, or if you've got it partially steamed because of the steam shower, but need to get a couple more wrinkles out, you can use that and then the actual irons in there. Plenty of space for the luggage rack in the back. You can see that there, as well as my actual luggage. So we'll close that up and we'll have another look at the rest of the room. So now we come to the storage area. Yes, the storage and seating area here. Put a few things down. You've got another nightstand or end table with the lamp on it and of course a card for in-room dining. So for room service, and plenty of space for two people to sit, or maybe four people, if there are two sets of very friendly people. Great for TV watching, if you know what I mean. And yes, I do mean that it's a good angle to see the TV. All right, we've also got a lamp on our working desk over here. Standard stuff, phone and all that. And then also, I already cracked this open, but this is what comes in your kit over here, your clean kit. So you get two of these masks. I'm wearing one of the Blasio masks right now, but there's another one right down here. And then you also get a whole bottle of sanitizer over here. It's only two ounces, it looks pretty big though. And it'll last you your three day trip to Vegas, I'd say. And then here's a handy little bag here. You can turn that into a makeup bag or into a toiletry bag or whatever other little storage bag you wanna use it for if you wanna use it at all, but it's your gift from the Bellagio. Couple more outlets on this side of the desk over here. So you can charge your phone. It's even got an ethernet cable over there if you want to hardwire your laptop into it and get a lot of work done in a short period of time, as well as the waste basket over there. That's where I tossed out the wrapping. So that's pretty great. But now the part you guys have all been waiting for, 
Let's have a look-see at the king-sized bed. So this is the king-sized bed that they're offering us. I noticed it was actually pretty soft. Looks pretty good. Plenty of large pillows on it, and you can always request more. And on the left-hand side, where you're going to have the phone here, you're obviously going to have an outlet on the lamp as well, because there are outlets down here, but you can't easily reach them. That's why they have those, and a little more storage space in the nightstand here. Found it fascinating that there's no Holy Bible in it, but I think Vegas has just kind of stopped doing that, so if you want to wanna get a little scriptural reading done, you're going to have to bring your own, uh, your own doctrine with you. More importantly, this other nightstand holds your in-room safe. So that's going to be just big enough to fit a laptop in. you got to really give it a pull to actually get it open all the way. And then you just lock it with what you normally lock it with. Four-digit code, hit lock. And then, you know, you're good. i got to admit, I've been pretty harsh on Bellagio in the past. Even a simple room like this was comfortable, spacious, and for a MyVegas comp, pretty cool. There are some minor aesthetic issues with the place, but overall it's pretty well done. I love the amount of storage space, the shower has some great water pressure and heat control, and of course there were plenty of outlets to use. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, and that's it. That's the Bellagio Resort Junior Suite. I think we did pretty good. It's not quite a traditional suite in the fact that it doesn't have a separate bedroom from the main room and the bathroom, but you know, it's a good sized hotel room. I'd say it was worth it. Glad I kind of greased the wheels a little bit, and we did just fine. So, last part of the test onto the bed. One, two, three, jump! Oh, <laughs> oh man, just sank into that one there. But, alright, Spinners and Sharks, let me know what you thought of the room, if you enjoyed it, if there's another one that you'd like me to try out, let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, shout out to Kenji Yagi for inspiring the series of videos and uh, continued success on YouTube. Be sure to check him out in the description box down below, and if you run into him, tell him that he sent you on over. Alright then, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's room tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to join us for the Hashtag Vegas podcast this Sunday at 6 o'clock Vegas time. But until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.